your legs media you know what to do hit the like button subscribe to the channel thanks we got lots of stuff coming up what's up and welcome in the studio say with your legs media thank you for joining us for the recap of the weekend and some of the really great races that were happening this weekend but before we get into that really quickly you know we got a shout out to super color they do the heat transfers this is how i do my t-shirts fabulous product t-shirts come out the bomb once you put it on you can i've washed the shirts and uh, sweat hoodies a couple times and yeah the stuff is the bomb check them out link is in the description then we have vice card this is the business card that i use but this is a customizable business card business card so basically it's got an nfc chip in it you tap it to someone's phone and it puts your whole link tree so much more information so just wait it's just a bomb link is in the description check it out anyway so with that done let's get into the weekend's results and what happened this weekend so we're going to start off with uh fen van ample she won the uh uci's world cup and this was the last uh race in the uci cup world the world cup series and basically it's a series so every time you win a race or you do a race you get points and the person who actually got the most points finished back in 18th place today because they won so many points in previous races and they won a bunch of races they accumulated enough points so that the last race that they done was about two weeks ago they didn't have to do they didn't have to finish in the points which is sailing Carmen Alvarado so she won the World Cup points which is well done to her yes well done to Salem and we gotta say well done to Fen Van Empel definitely for another win she's like 17 wins in a row and it's just a quick look at who was on the podium on the podium with her today was our Kata Bas Blanca which was pretty cool to see someone else different and able to keep up with with her actually having to make it's the second time that uh Fen Van Ambos had to sprint and they dropped uh, Lucinda Brandt on the last lap. So that was the women's race at Holger Hyde. And then the men's race went to Matthew Vanderpool. So he's uh, he didn't win last the last race. He had some major mechanicals and then he ran into a pole. Uh, like this big post in the last race. But he, uh, he sort of rode conservatively today. And he just put he just put down the power when he needed to, and then the podium was as follows. We get it right this time. It was Vanderpool, and then 16 seconds or five seconds being. It says he was only five seconds or 15 seconds. No, so five, so five, six, seven, eight seconds behind was our Joris Newenhouse, and then our Pin Runhart. So the track Belarus guys got uh, second there for. Second, third, and fourth with uh, Thibaut Nice, Thibaut Nice in fourth place, and Ali Isabeth, Ali Isabeth in fifth place. And that was the man's race, awesome race, another fantastic performance by Matthew Vanderpool. And then our next race was Fen Van Apple with the day before, so she did the double, and she won the X20 Trophy. And this is a series as well. Um, I'm not quite sure where she's at in this series, but I don't think she's winning this series. She's done quite a few of the races, but I have to check that out and I correct that if I'm wrong. And your results for today was Fen Van Ample. I mean, Saturday was Fen Van Ample. Then Lucinda Brand, who was uh, third today, but she finished second yesterday, and Man and Baca finished in third place. So that was the uh, trophy, X20 trophy ham in a Flander. The Flandering Cross. And not to be undone by Femme doing the double back to back was Matthew Vanderpool, who also done the X20 trophy, Flandering Cross. And he had a really, he had a, he had a much better, he had a much better, I won't say much better, but he had a closer race than he did uh, on Sunday. Was it like, because, uh, him and Michael Van der Hort basically rode away from everyone. And it's the first time like Van der Hort is, or anyone has been able to just stay with him the whole race. With Matthew Van der Poel the whole race. But he did say he was tapering. He did, didn't feel like he needed to do as much. His legs don't feel like they did in the first cycle cross race. And he um, um he took care of the business. He only won by 16 seconds. But he still did win. And then we go to the road racing. We had his uh kevin kevin uh yetz 
and he f- won his uh, I, I, is this a second or this is like it's either a second or third win ever and he's 28 years old he's been ready racing since a teenager but he's like a workhorse he doesn't he doesn't um do like like he basically rides to help other people win so when he won today everyone was super super excited for him that he got the win as you can see as he's crossed to the line he's just like ultraly excited and like happy for him like and the results to, were today we had a uh, kevin yetz at uh for guru farmer fdj and there are places alex budin from a uh, decathlon agr and then kevin benkulin from akea bnb hotels i would that was pretty a pretty cool race to see he him and the guy in second place uh alex budin rode away on the last climb they got like 30 seconds they were able to hold on that 30 seconds extended and they won by maybe 20 seconds over the, the rider that was chasing but then then about 50 seconds over the group so well done to him and well done to everyone for an exciting race today that was an amazing race to watch then we go over to Mallorca and for the 21st trophy Palmer and uh Gerben Tyson he's a Belgian and he won today and it's crazy like this is the race that Benny finished second or third in last year and yeah it was just a, an amazing race so what's amazing about this race was that the riders he finished in front of Alexander Kristoff uh Arnold Dumas and these are you know a Dianese Dianese these these guys are like you know all right sprinters and uh Gerben is not even the top sprinter Benny is the sprinter so he actually Gerben actually, you know, gets the speed up for Benny, so Benny could win. So for him to win over these guys was pretty impressive and it's pretty amazing to see. So that was Mallorca. And then, is that the last? No, we got one more race to show you. One more race result to show you, which is our 8th Cadal Evans Great Ocean Race, which was won by Lawrence Pithy. But the highlight of this was a Natnial Tasfession finishes in second place which was crazy because the commentators when he was in the break with about like five kilometers to go and he was in the breakaway that was pulling away and the commentators were calling all the people who could possibly win with a chance and were doing it and they said yeah yeah not not near autos fast and he's a good climber but we don't think he could spring with the big boys and he was the one that got pipped by literally inches literally inches on the finish line so that was an amazing finish for Natnial Tasfession. What do your finishes look like? So you got Lawrence Pithy in first place from Group Pharma. Uh, Natnial Tasfession from Track Little uh, in uh, second place. Uh, George Zimmerman from Intermarche. Intermarche doing well. Uh, Corbin Strong from Israel Primatak. And then you have uh, Ineos Grenadines. So this is Navarro's Jonathan. He was like the... the you know, everyone was calling him for the win because they were saying he's the strongest, he's the fastest, and he finished down in fifth place. So today's result was pretty amazing, and I'm happy for happy for Mr. Natnial Tasfession finishing in second place. Just pipped out of second place. So one thing I'm going to show you in the the uh, which race was it? Is it this race? Yes, it's this race, the Kevin Gunnett's one. So on the downhill in this race, it had a little bit of an accident. I'm just going to just show you the highlights from that. So as they're coming down, one of the riders loses it. So it looks like he got his handlebar hooked into the rider next to him. And then the rider, like he almost throws his bike into everyone else. And but the the crazy thing is as 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 chaotic as that looked, no one was serious. Luckily, no one was seriously injured. And if you're gonna watch watch the rider, he goes into the barrier at the bottom, like well on the corner. He, his body just slams into the barrier. And just imagine if that barrier was in there, you see the dust and everything and sand running down the bank. That's exactly where he would have gone. He would have just went tumbling down the bank. So it's an unfortunate accident, but the fortunate part about the accident is that there weren't any serious injuries. Everyone was able to get back up, get the bike sorted, and get going again, which was good because we we you know we don't like to see people get it hurt. 
part unfortunately do happen so with that i'm going to be out thank you for joining us that was a brief look at the races over the weekend so we got a couple races this week we got the uh to the alulu alulu to Al, Al, Jake Olula, yeah, to Olula <laughs> this weekend. I mean, not this weekend, it's on Wednesday. And then you got the, what's his, uh, Nairo Cantana. He's going to be doing his first race tour, Colombia. And then on Saturday, we got the uh, Cycle Cross World Cup, or, you know, the World Championship. Sorry. So that should be interesting. So everyone's going to be out and fighting for that. So Matthew Vanderbilt is going to try and defend his title and fan, well, his the, the jersey that he wears. And Fan Van Ampel is probably going to try and do the same thing. And the thing is, it, who is going to be able to stop them or deny them? We'll see. It's going to be hot fire this weekend. So that's just a look at some of the races coming up that I will probably be trying to bring you information around results on. So it's been a busy weekend. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you. <laughs> Yeah, last one, last one, last one, last one. So until the next video and next bunch of information, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I just need a few more hours, people, to get me up to my monetization so I can start uh, making this profitable so I can get in Europe and I can bring you the real footage. So you got to watch the videos, watch them all, go back and binge watch them, watch them all from beginning to end. Get me some hours, people. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.